Hi everyone, it's Suzanne. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to share with you one of our favorite chapter book series, and it is the Magic Treehouse series. The Magic Treehouse series was rebranded in 2017, and they changed some of the numbering, and I'm going to share that information with you today. I did a little research to figure out the numbering system and what changed based on the rebranding, and I thought I would save you some time by sharing that information with you as well, and any excuse to talk about this amazing chapter book series. Before I jump into the number changes, for those that are not aware of what the Magic Tree House book is, I'll give you a quick synopsis of the series. Jack and Annie are two children from Frog Creek, Pennsylvania. They happen upon a magic tree house in the woods near their home, and it turns out it was brought there by Morgan Le Fay, who's from Camelot. And she asked them to go all over the world in different time periods in search of certain books to add to her library in Camelot. And then after so many books, they start doing missions for Merlin, the magician. And it's a lot of fun. Each book is based on real facts or a myth that we're all familiar with. For example, Camelot or a time like the Olympics. They introduce you to a lot of fun facts at times in history and introduce you to people. Why I love them is because while introducing these times in history or these people like Leonardo da Vinci or going to Venice or different places in the world, they make a story of it. So it's a lot of fun. The kids learn something while enjoying the books and the stories. These chapter books are for kids age 6 to 10. I started reading them to our daughter when she was 5 and we started going through them a second time. But this time we're being more specific. If there's a topic we want to read, those are the books we've chosen. For example, if you watch my Family Reads video, you'll probably recognize this one from our January fam Family Reads. It's Blizzard of the Blue Moon and it's based in New York. Originally we were going to read this book in December for part of our Christmas New York theme party. We didn't get to it, so I added it into our January Family Reads basket and we've already read that this month again that was based in new york that was a lot of fun you might recognize this one as well it was in our december christmas basket and this is christmas in camelot so we're doing specific books based on the themes we want to talk about at this point but loving every minute of it again okay here is how the numbering system went when they first published the magic treehouse series they published 55, so number 1 to 55. By the way, this is written by Mary Pope Osborne. Okay, getting back to the rebranding, they took the first 28 books and they kept the names. Yeah, so the Magic Treehouse series is the same. You will notice, I'm going to insert a picture here. Okay, as you notice, this was a bit different. It still shows the treehouse, but there's a lot more greenery and brown in there for the rebranding. But the numbering system is the same. 1 to 28 is the same. That's what's important in this message. From 29, this is the original 29 Magic Treehouse book, up to 55, they changed to Merlin's Mission. Now they look like this book. You see up here it says Merlin's Missions. They all look like that from 29 to 55 now. That's how they look different, but they also changed the numbering system 1 to 27. For example, this book here, number 25, Merlin's Mission, uh, Shadow of the Shark. I just bought that recently, and it was originally number 53. I print it off, as you see here. I just went on the Magic Treehouse site and printed off all the books so we were clear on the numbering system as well as the name of the books. And they have a list for the Magic Treehouse and there's a list for Merlin's Missions. And you could put, if you wanted to buy an older version, the corresponding numbers beside there. So for number one, Merlin's Mission Christmas in Camelot, you know in the old numbering system, it was number 29, Christmas in Camelot. 
I will put those numbers down below in case you have an old version and you're confused like I was. I'll put those numbers down below. And also because I think it's important if we want to buy a used copy from somebody that it, there's no confusion. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm being clear. If you were getting Christmas in Camelot today, you would see this picture, Christmas in Camelot, of Jack on the stag. But you would also see the top of it would look like this. So it would be Merlin's mission number one. I also want to note, the reason I was so confused is because since they rebranded, they've continued to print the Magic Treehouse series by Mary Pope Osborne with the same numbering system. They continued on. So they now have a new number 29. The new number 29, according to this, is a big day for baseball and they now have printed up to 34 so since the original series was printed they are now up to number 34 and a 35th book is going to be printed on march 2nd of 2021 and it is called camp time in california i have to say this while i appreciate the fact that they needed to rebrand the fact that they've continued on with this numbering system with totally new books is extremely confusing. It would have been great if they had started a third line of books, I think. So, Magic Treehouse has three lines of books now. The Magic Treehouse, the Merlin's Missions. We also love these. This is their third line of books, and it's it used to be called the Research Guide. Since they rebranded, they're now calling them Fast Trackers. So instead of saying Magic uh, Magic Treehouse Research Guide, it would say Magic Treehouse Fast Tracker. And this one's all about ghosts. I'll just show you what we have. These are the yeah ghosts. We read that one on Halloween. It was a fun addition to the ghost book. Leprechauns, dolphins and sharks. Polar bears in the Arctic, rainforests, mummies, mummies and pyramids, Titanic, ancient Greece and the Olympics, and one on space. Those are the research guides that we have. We also have a Leonardo da Vinci one, and that's in a drawer with all our material for a unit study for Leonardo. They have approximately 30 to 40 of these research guides. So it's not one for one in terms of their books and research guides, but it's close. Here's two that we ordered. This was Shadow of the Shark, Merlin's Mission, and the research guide slash fast tracker is Dolphin and Sharks. On their website, it says that the books one to 28 are for readers six to nine, and the ones from 29 above are for readers seven to 10. Obviously, that depends on where your kid is at. And like I said, we started when my daughter was five and I read them to her. And currently we're still, I'm still reading them because they're part of our family reads basket, which are the read alouds that we do each month. All right, I'll give you just a few titles so you get an idea if you're not familiar with the Magic Treehouse. Starting with number one, Dinosaurs Before Dark, The Night at Dawn. Pirates at Noon, Mummies in the Morning, Night of the Ninjas, Afternoon on the Amazon, uh, Midnight on the Moon, Dolphins at Daybreak. So I'm going to take that out. Yeah, we go to Africa. Just trying to. The Titanic. Oh, yeah. Hour of the Olympics, Viking Ships. I just thought I'd take out the ones that I know I have matching research guides for. Revolutionary War. Twister. Oh, <clears throat> Twisters. Earthquake. Um, stage Fright on Summer Night. So that was an introduction to Shakespeare. <laughs> um, and these aren't all the titles because we're missing a few, which is... When another reason I wanted to go through these books was to figure out exactly which ones we were missing and if we wanted to invest in those at this stage. Haunted Castle on Hallow's Eve, uh, Summer of the Sea Serpent, Winter of the Ice Wizard, Carnival at Candlelight. I really like that one. It was in Venice. Season of the Sandstorms, Night of the New Magicians. I really like that one. It was based in Paris. As I mentioned, Blizzard of the Blue Moon. Because I keep mentioning this, I thought I would 
show you in terms of the real information included in this book if you look at the back of each book it has more facts for jack and annie too and this introduced the topic of the great depression because they go back in the 1930s to new york and there's long lines and soup kitchens and to central park obviously and to belvedere castle so each of these we get to know a little bit um belvedere castle introduced john d rockefeller and the Cloisters Museum in New York that's based in the Bronx, which I had never heard of until I read this book. So that was fun to learn about. And then mythical creatures like unicorns. So this was a lot of fun, as they all tend to be a lot of fun. It's a fun way to introduce new pieces of information. And personally, I've learned a lot from reading them as well. Okay, I hope I explained that well in terms of the numbering system. And if you're interested in the Magic Treehouse, or have been confused like I was by the numbering system. I hope that clarified things for you and can save you some time in the future. I'd love to know if you have a favorite chapter series or if you are in love with the Magic Treehouse series, let me know down below. I would love to share in your excitement and I will see you soon with another bookish video.